Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Seriously, bro. Papa's got a new bag of tricks. Looking up at the night sky, you might think that space is dull. Now, this isn't doomy, but it's fascinating. And so I'm taking you on a journey with me. Hello and welcome to the latest Thor News adventure. Thanksgiving Day weekend. Here I am. And here we are, my love. Talking about Jupiter. Hey, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving Day weekend. Are you ready to play? What the fudge nipples? Is that giant planet star looking thing behind Jupiter? Fudge nipples are by far the most harmless of all nipples. Now that we have got that out of the way, we can get on to the science. Yeah, see that to the left of the giant galactic core looking thing that is not a giant galactic cloud core? Yeah, what I believe is Jupiter. It's the yin yang looking thing. Now, we are going to go to Stereo's latest images. We're at the Stereo Science Center, provided to us by the wonderful NASA. We're clicking on the what planets are currently visible. Because I don't know. Man, it's not like I got an astronaut on speed dial. So as you can see, we got Earth and Mercury, and then Jupiter, and unnamed planet star thingy behind it. Now please remember, the Stereo Ahead HI2 camera always makes it look like Earth is in peril. There is some giant unidentified body entering our solar system. And we are all going to die soon. And then, just like Comet Ison, nothing happens. Or just like Siding Spring, nothing happens. Or just like the Filet Rosetta Stone landing, nothing happens. So my job here is just to figure out what giant star that is behind Jupiter. It's probably not even real. You're probably not even real. But I'm real, man. I just pinched myself. It felt like a pinch. Tried snuff once. Made me throw up. Yeah, you know how you take a pinch of snuff? Stuff is like chewing tobacco. Okay. Somewhere, I'm pretty sure one day we'll have the technology to take better photographs of our inner solar system than these wonderful high-res black and white ones. How could you ever doubt a government that gives you such high quality for your money, buddy? I'm like, yeah. All the evidence points that we should trust them. Their lives, our taxes, our women, our wine, our honey. And then she was like, I want to bathe you in honey. I said, baby, I really don't know if I want to be that sticky. You know, because if she was talking like a legitimate fill a bathtub with honey, A, that is expensive. B, you're not even sure that experience is going to feel good. You know, I mean, how long is it going to take to get all the honey off? You can get on your hair? So, and that even if she's eating some of the honey, you can only eat like a few spoonfuls before you get sick. So there you're going to be there with a female who gets a sugar rush and then feels sick. And then you're covered in honey. And you spend 500 bucks. You know, wait, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, there's a thing behind Jupiter that may kill us all. Everybody run. I mean, stay where you are. And I tweeted our old buddy Carl Batoms of the Navy's All Things Comets and Asteroids because he had posted a graphic showing that M2, a Taurus. I asked him, I said, so, so nobody knows what giant planet star is following Jupiter? And Carl Batoms said, off the top of my head, no, I'd need to consult a star map, which I don't have handy. So I said, okay, thanks. I'll make the video with the warning that this camera, the HI2 camera, always looks scary. Like, oh my God, there's Nibiru. Oh my God, there's Planet X. Oh my God, there's Wormwood. Oh my God, the national debt is at 18 fucking trillion dollars. Is that a spaceship? But nothing, do me, ever comes from any of it. Well, not counting the 18 trillion dollar national debt part. Because then, in a fractional reserve credit system, banks get to create $9 of credit for every $1 of national debt, and then hedge funds can add a 36 times multiplier to it. So yeah, that's total doom. But this video is not about that. This video is about what's following Jupiter. Somebody let me know. I'm sure if this video gets enough views, Astro Mutt will let us know. Or Daza. Or somebody. Usually these are stars. But, um... This star is big, man. And it's following on a direct path 
You may remember Carl Batons from our Icing days. He led the NCIS campaign and was super interested and frustrated by the comment as well. Yes, he does not work for NASA. And I would like to think his most popular tweet from that event was a nod and a tip of cap to me. Then I made a joke because David Dickinson of the Universe Today was like, I found series. I said, hell yeah, it's official. Hashtag science has rediscovered hashtag series. Congratulations. Or congratulations. Did you use gravitational lensing? That makes the Thor laugh. Get it? Because gravitational lensing is when we use like a universe or galaxy as, as lens. It's a pretty hilarious concept if you ask me. Unfortunately, we have no way to prove it or disprove it. We just have to believe science. Welcome to the native sound. All right, so it's been a couple days since I actually made the first recording of this video. So now we're still looking at it. It's still big. It's still unidentified. And it still just happens to be on the exact same ecliptic and orbit pace as Jupiter. So that's interesting. Are you ready to play? What the fudge nipples? Is that giant planet star looking thing behind Jupiter? Eh? You're not allowed to get mad at fudge nipples because fudge is neither male nor female. And B, fudge is not even human. So there's nothing sexy about fudge nipples. I say things like, welcome to the native sound.